Welcome Virgos. Happy New Year. This is the New Year's reading for 2021. I want to say to you Virgos, thank you for your likes, shares and support. Please uh, sub, um, support our channels by subscribing and set your notification buttons on and thumbs up. So Virgos, we are looking at the year um, um, 2021. Uh, congratulations for all who have made it to 2021. It has not been an easy journey for a lot of us, but congratulations to the people who have made 2021. All right, Virgos. Hmm. Uh, your energies, Virgos, is in the reverse. And uh, the energy of the Temperance is in reverse with the Ace of Inspiration. So, Virgos, this year is about uh, um, returning balance to your life. A lot of you, Virgos, you, your life has been uh, topsy-turvy, um, all different sort of a situation issue that has been happening and transpiring. And uh, um, the universe is going to be helping you, Virgos, in order to redo your life where you are going to be bringing back a balance in your life, okay? So, a lot of uh, colors of yellows is coming up. And this is wonderful. You have also a lot of major or corners, which is good. Um, you begin the year on a positive note and you're ending the year on another positive note. So Virgos, um, this year is going to be um, powerful because uh, you are beginning the year with the energy of the magician and you're ending the year with the energy of the fool upright. So congratulations, Virgos, whatever that was happening and transpiring. A huge congratulations to you, Virgos. This year is going to be a year where you're taking back your powers. Um, we are seeing this as you come in the year with an air energy, the magician. The magician is going to be opening up doors of opportunities, opening up your awareness, and give you a new start moving forward. Who are you going to be dealing with? Um, your spirit guides. Uh, Light is going to be shed on some sort of a situation. The hermit is here, um, bringing light and showing you the way, which is your spirit guides. Judgment is here. Um, so be aligned with these powers. What is in um, the crowning of your year? The ten of Pentic the ten of voices in reverse. The ten of voices is lies and deceptiveness is coming out. The angry man is showing up the truth to what has been going on. You Virgos are opening up. You Virgos, the four of voice, the ten of voice in reverse, and the hangman that is showing up what was going on with a conflicts and with some sort of a problem and conflicts and um, people who were creating issues and problems is finally, finally coming to an end, Virgo. You are taking down this uh, deceptive play, uh, play um, the conflicts, uh, um, the competition, people working against you, people who were working against other people and you, Virgos, uh, are bringing this uh, situation to an end. When we look at your foundation, the ace of voice, you're speaking. Yeah. You're speaking your truth, Virgos. Congratulations. You, Virgos, are standing up to anyone who comes in your way and is speaking your truth and letting your truth be known to what has been happening and transpire. Um, this is absolutely fabulous. Um, this is going to be a year where you, Virgos, are taking back your powers by using your voice and showing up a uh, situation that was transpiring and letting people be aware of people who have created some sort of a problems and issues for you. So you're speaking up at work. You could be starting your own business by communication, using your voice to communicate, and you're going to be speaking up and standing against injustice and equality. 
Congratulations, Virgos. You are not no longer going to be um um keeping you know keeping the peace. You're going to be speaking up. You're going to be showing information, letting people know what was transpiring. And I see at work, uh, you are going to be starting anew because you're on the right part uh, to some successful endeavor. So the voice, uh, you are speaking. And it's as if you Virgos are going to be true. Spirit is going to be speaking through you. Some of you could be um, communication for work. It is going to be extremely good because it's going to be bringing you um, and directing you up. A new partner is going to be creating a lot of wealth and stability. So for the persons and the people who are going to be communicating via their guides and angel, the energy of the magician is here showing you the way forward especially people who are using their voices to work whether you're writing or whether you are communicating um through your voices however way selling um customer sales that sort of a thing is going to be a powerful powerful new year if you virgos decide to start your business in this year it is going to be a success so as we look at the temperance in reverse it is all about harmonization. It is all about bringing back balance to your world. It's about blending energies and idea and the alchemist. It's finding purpose, the goal lock zone. Okay, so this is good. Um, it's meaningful encounters, turning um, a life lesson into spiritual goal, patient and healing. So it is um, a measuring and moderation is the name of this game in this year. Some of you, the Ace of Inspiration in reverse. The Ace of Inspiration is that some of you um, are going to be not as creative as usual, but once you're using your voice, you will be successful. Positive new beginnings, fresh inspiration, start opportunities, new cycles of manifestation and genius of hopes and dream, creative downloads, pushing thoughts and removing blocks, illuminating idea and passion, the invoc uh, invocation of the spark. So um, this year is where you're going to be learning. It's as if you're relearning how to use your voice to create and bring stability in your world. So anyone who do, does sale, coaching, anything that has to do with the voice, uh, customer service and that sort of a thing, it is going to be a very, very powerful year for you. And some of you Virgos are going to be changing your um, career to a career where you're using your voice to communicate. Let's see the numbers that is coming up for you Virgos, new start, um, new start with communication. Um, some of you Virgos are going to be investigating the, and seeing the truth to, to some sort of a situation. Um, at the end of the year, that is when your creativity is going to start. And I see some sort of a judgment call is going to be bringing you and giving you a new start. Whatever the competition and the conflicts is, I see they're going to be finding out some sort of a deceptiveness with a Libran and a Leo, and they're going to be bringing this situation into balance, and you Virgos could be helping to release and show up some sort of a false set that was created. So I see you're going to be having the inner power um, to do anything that you want to do in this year. Um, the four of voice uh, and the light is being shed. So I see a lot of you are going to be receiving inner wisdom and guidance from your spirit guide. I see they're going to be finding out uh, some sort of a, and you Virgos could be speaking up about some sort of a on or dishonest information that people were saying and creating around you Virgos or around the workplace. I see truth is going to be coming up for a lot of you Virgos. A lot of you Virgos is going to be showing 
um, some sort of information about what was transpiring at work that other people were not seeing. And this is going to be powerful. It's going to be a powerful year when you Virgos uh, are ending all conflicts and ending all com uh, competition and turning your back uh, and moving forward in a new direction. Some of you Virgos are going to be finding out that um, uh, people were not speaking the truth and you're going to be shedding light uh, on some sort of a information and some sort of a group that was not being honest and you're going to be shedding light uh, on these people showing up these people for who they are and what they have done so virgos no one can stop you in this year you're the only one that can stop yourself in this year you're going to be having the potential to be the most powerful person because it's as if the universe is going to be giving you um, the power within you to use your voice to make changes and to use your voice to make sure that uh, people that have been creating some sort of a conflict, uh, it's going to be ending. Truths are going to be coming out about some of you who had worked on something and you're going to be speaking the truth and is going to be realizing that a group of people you were connected with was not being very honest. And I see in the month of December, you're ending this and turning your back on this group of people and moving forward because I see your spirit guides is going to be giving you the power and the authority and take you from a group of people that was not being honest. So, so new starts when it comes up to communication. Um, um, as you go to the second half of the year, um, your creativity is not going to be as high as the first half of the year. And it's okay. Um, it's about sometimes you need to step back. And then let things flow and that is going to be transparent. So new starts are coming up when it comes on to communication. And when it comes on to your passion, you're going to be having some sort of a new start that is coming up. So ladies and gentlemen, before a dude, um, your number is going to be number one. Um, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see the Omega is as if uh, these um, um, massive uh, massive and um, the magician is the energy of uh, um mercury and um, that is going to be helping you that is your um planet that is going to be helping you virgos in order to communicate clearly um in this year especially in the first six months of the year and as you leave to the second half of the year it is going to be about you receiving higher knowledge and inner wisdom where some sort of a ending is coming in and you are going to be receiving a new start. So some of you could be walking away from a job um, and moving to something new. Changing careers is going to be coming up for you Virgos. A lot of you Virgos are going to be realizing that someone you, you were working with, connecting with was dishonest. This is going to be happening and it's going to be showing up People are going to be aware of what is happening. So Virgos, let's go in this reading and see what are the most powerful, powerful months for you. What to look at. If you'd like to have a personal reading that is programmed to your fit, you can always use the link below. It takes you to the website where you can order the year 2021 reading. If you are a member of the channel, you can receive 50%. Um, but they always check whether or not you uh, are a member of the channel, then you will receive 15%. A lot of you can um, just take uh, the monthly subscription because then you will see the extended of this reading. So Virgos, um, let's go in. The month of January is going to be extremely powerful for you Virgos. It's as if information is going to be coming out and... Um, um, wisdom and knowledge, the magician, the energy of Mercury is coming up to give you this huge push in the month of January. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Um, the month of March is going to be another powerful month. Some sort of information that was kept from you Virgos is going to be coming out in the month of March. And it's as if whether or not you are someone who meditates it could be coming out through meditation, coming out, um, coming out through dream time. 
it could be coming out where uh, all of a sudden you are understanding and realizing a situation that was transpiring and you got caught up with okay um the next month that is very important is may now may is about you virgos trying to rebalance yourself rebalance your life bringing balance back in your life okay may is about taking back uh, the power and bringing yourself and bringing balance in whatever that was affecting you and your life now as uh, we look at the month of uh uh july truths is going to be coming out people are going to be finding out that there was some untruth that was stole by a libran and people are going to be finding out that um it could be libran but it could be also corrupt police corrupt authority figure and they're going to be finding out that these people wasn't being honest okay um, the other powerful, powerful month is going to be November. November. Hold on, because November, some sort of a information is going to be coming out. Whatever information that comes out is going to be positive. And this information is going to be giving you, Gemini, a new start in December. You're ending this year of 2021 in a powerful note because you are having this beautiful, beautiful, wonderful new start that you're riding off in the sunset. What a magnificent, beautiful reading is this. So again, let's encamp um, January, March, May, July, uh, November, and December. And it's just so powerful, Virgo, um, because in December, because I see in the month of September, because your birthday is... Uh, August, November, and August, September. Some of you could be changing your jobs or changing your career. And in the month of November, you're going to be receiving some positive news that is going to be opening up some doors. So maybe some of you do not have any work in the month of September, October, but not to worry. November, some sort of a new doors of opportunities is going to be opening. December, you're going to be starting some sort of a new journey that is much better and much positive for you. So let's go in the year, the months. Let's look at the first month of January. This is the energy of communication is going to be very clear. Mercury is going to be coming in and helping you to bring back not on the stability, but give you the inner power and guidance and wisdom. Um, the magician is about bringing in information from the other side of the veil. Okay. So the magician is about the potential. Um, it's going to be awakening your potential and your manifestation abilities. And this is going to be absolutely wonderful. It's, it's as if you, um, Virgos is going to be finding the alchemy and the intonation of who you are. Okay. Reaching up the magician waves and spin the reality in. Um, so it's about you manifesting. So whatever you are going to be manifesting in January is going to be coming out in the month of November, December. So again, Virgos, whatever you manifest in January is going to be coming out in the month of November, December. So this is absolutely powerful. It's good. You're on the right track. Then we're looking at uh, um, February. Now, February, some sort of information is going to be coming out. And now information is going to be coming out about people who have never spoken the truth. And now this information is coming out and it's going to be hitting a lot of people. Um, whoever these people are that was not speaking the truth, I see truth is going to be coming out. And I see is some sort of a truth about a group of people that some of you Virgos have worked together with. And I uh, bring you in some sort of a problem issues. Um, and I see... Some sort of information that a Libran I've told wasn't true. And you're going to be showing up this Libran for what they have done and what they have said. You're going to be showing um, and realizing that this uh, person was not speaking the truth all of the time. And you're going to be showing up this person. It doesn't really matter who it is. It's about people who had not spoken the truth. 
um, whatever information you receive from your Aya guides in the month of January, you're going to be showing up these people that they have not because the information that you receive is correct and you're going to be understanding and seeing the truth about what has been transpiring. Month of, uh, um, and the energy of the four of swords with a magician is about you receiving and taking information from out of the eaters and bringing it down and, uh, and letting people know that they were not told the truth. Then we look at March. What is the energy of March? March is that you're going within in a search of the truth. So whatever is happening and transpire, I see you Virgos are like, mm, I'm going to, I'm looking for the truth. I'm going to be the one that is going to be finding out the truth about what has been going on. It's as if you Virgos realize that everything is a complot and you're going to find the truth of whatever is transpiring. And I see you are going to be revealing the truth about a group of people and what they have done. So this is good. So go back and listen to the first quarter of the year. It is already uploaded. This is going to be helping a lot of you Virgos. Um, the energy of January, listen to January and realize that information is going to be coming to you. Listen to February. Also, truth is going to be revealed in February. And it is as if this first quarter is about information that is going to be coming out. So work with the third quarter and month, um, January, February, March to find out what is transpiring. Then we are moving on and looking at the second quarter. The second quarter have to do with communication, incorrect communication, you trying to balance out yourself and speaking up and showing up that some verbal information was incorrect, okay? And that is uh, what you're going to be doing in the second quarter. So in the month of April, you're going to be showing up that some, uh, some information was incorrect and you're showing up and letting people realize what was actually coming up. You're revealing the truth uh, to some sort of a hidden secrets, hidden information, because you are receiving the information from Aya Source, and you're going to be giving this to people and let people know that they have been fooled in some sort of a way, okay? Um, in the month of May, um, I see you're going within, you're being quiet, you're taking time off and going within and trying to figure out for yourself what direction and how you should release some information that you have. You're trying to sit and figure out how should I release this information that I have. And you're going to be finding out a way. And it's as if your spirit guides is going to be guiding you. So that is a hurt energy. You're bringing some sort of a stability in May. In the month of June you are going to be receiving some sort of a higher wisdom. Now, this in this wisdom and guide that is coming in Virgo is from a higher source energy. If you notice the light, how this light around this person and their aura and how this information, because light is information and it is higher wisdom and knowledge and it could be from soulmate or your guiding angels is going to be coming in and deliver you this light information, okay? Information is light, and this is going to be a download that a lot of you Virgos, especially if you're communicating with a voice, that this information is going to be flowing through you, and it's as if you have a knowledge and wisdom over something that is transpiring, and you're going to be educating people and a group of people. So this is what I was saying, if you are a salesperson or you use your voice, um, as your career, this is going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, so that is the end of the second quarter where you see a lot of positive. Uh, it's about communication. It's about showing the truth. It's about um, having inner wisdom over information and is uh, using it to help humanity. When we look at the third quarter the third quarter um is a quarter about uh, um information about work your career 
anything that has to do with how you make your money um, is going to be coming up. And you're, it's as if some a sort of a hidden information that was kept, you're going to be revealing it in the month of July. The month of July is a water energy. And it's as if you Virgos um, know that is this information needs to be relieved because people need to know um, what was happening, what was transpiring. And you're showing up and helping people um, to see um, the lies from um, and see between the dark and the light okay it's about you helping people to understand whether or not they're going to be taking the green pill or they're going to be taking the blue pill because this is going to be powerful and a powerful alignment of energy is going to be created when you are going to be choosing um to make the choices to help a group of people okay then we look at the month of august the month of august is going to be a month where you know, you don't, it's not like a passion month. It's not, not, not a go, go, go month. No, it's not a go, go, go month. The go, go, go month is January and December. November, uh, uh, August is so it says passion, trying to, um, engage to, um, in order to, um, take break in order to recapitulate yourself so that you can make the changes. It's about August. Um, thinking of uh, um, to move into a new career field because you realize that what you were doing is just based on um, on truths, okay? It's not based on honesty. And I see that some of you, Virgos, is going to be deciding in the month of August to turn your back to what you were doing and is looking forward and creating another career that is based on honesty, and this is going to be good. So congratulations um, to you Virgos who realize that um, whatever and whatever um, um, career part you were on is not fulfilling you anymore. In the month of August, you're going to be reversing this and changing it uh, and uh, moving to a different career um, that is going to be helping you in a positive way. Okay. And that is going to be wonderful. Another um, earth energy. So this is going to be good. It has to do with work. A lot of you could be starting your business or thinking about starting your business in the month of September. It's going to be a yes. Go for it. You can see um, two energies is showing up that yes, that is a direction. So a lot of you Virgos is going to be like staring yourself from the, the corporate world and going to work for yourself. I see you're going to be having thousand things to do, but I see that you're going to be doing it based on honesty and based on um, your own intuition and guidance. And this is going to be powerful. Um, so I see a lot of you Virgos are going to be, um, some, some of you is going to be, um, August, end of August when your birthday starts. Some of you is going to be the beginning of September to change your career and choose another career part. And it's going to be a yes. So, um, if you decide to start for, um, or change career or change job, um, September is going to be the good month, uh, um, to do that because some of you, your contract will be ended in September. In October, you might be free, but as it comes to November, December, a new job is going to be coming in. Then we look at the energy in October. So before we move to the last quarter, let's re um, look at the third quarter. The third quarter is water, fire, and earth. Water, fire, and earth. And this is really balancing. So whatever is coming out in July is going to be good because it's going to be putting you on a thinking part in your life, um, realizing that uh, um, what you have been doing the last couple of years is not fulfilling yet. You're going to be um, taking a new career direction in something else, and this is going to be powerful. So let's look at the three last month in the year, October, November, and December. October is going to be a month of conflicts, conflicts, competition, and um, people that have their own agendas. And, you know, you Virgos are really going to be finding out that people are full of it, okay? Rival challenges, compre um, um, 
comparison, uh, a need to col um, to collaborate, uh, inflict and fight, trying to outdo another person, friendly competition. And you're like, oh, please, um, I don't really need this. Yeah, sorry, I don't need to be in any competition. And I see you, Virgos, or some, someone who, you know, you know yourself because you're an earth sign and you are ruled by Mercury. So you know yourself. You're in no competition with anyone. Um, whatever you're doing, talking, speaking, using the voice, uh, um, it's always going to be good for you, Virgos. Why? It's because you were ruled by Mercury. Anything that you're building using your hands, your mind, body, and soul, it's always good because you're creating that. And once you're creating something from yourself, uh, that is going to be so powerful. So all the other people that is coming in, creating competition, want to collaborate with you and that sort of a thing, you're like, hey, bye. I don't need to be competing with anyone. Um, I have my inner guidance that is helping me and protecting me and guiding me and pushing me through, um, you know, these situation that is transpired. So I see you, Virgos, is going to be backing away from people who have been rival to you and let it go and said, hey, um, you know, I don't want to be involved with whatever that is going on with you guys. I'm letting it go. I'm good. I don't need to have, be in a competition or in rivalry to, against anyone. And I see you're just going to be turning your back and leaving this behind. That's the fire energies, okay? Then we're moving on to the month of November. And the month of November is going to be extremely powerful for you, Virgos, okay? Awakening. The month of November is going to be very powerful. And what is going to be transpiring in the month of November is that... Uh, it's about revelation. It's the energy of revelation. It's about information. It's about showing up. Um, some sort of information. It's about you connecting with the higher wisdom. You finding out that, hey, I've been doing something for a while and that has not been working out in my best interest. So guess what? I am going within to find out what is um, the new direction for myself. And by doing that, taking time off in November, you are going to be out of, you know, unexpectedly, you're going to be having the information that you need because all of a sudden you wake up one day and know, um, oh, I'm, this is the direction. That is what I need to be doing. So positive information is going to be coming in. And this information is going to be coming in from your spirit guides and your own intuition. And is uh, your spirit guides is going to be lighting away, showing you in what direction to go. And there you're going to be deciding to leave your old career behind, leave the old relationship, leave the people that have not been honest and really going and um, bringing you positivity in your life. And you're going on a journey seeking positivity. And I see your angels and guides is going to be giving you a hand and helping you along and be with you, beside you, moving you forward. And this is going to be absolutely powerful. You have reached the last month, December 2021, and you have the energy of the fool. So congratulations to you, Virgos, that is going to be ending up in um, the month of December, because the month of December is the changing of the guard. Because it's as if you have received some sort of information in the month of uh, November that is uh, pushing you and giving you the strength to move forward in such a powerful, powerful, positive um, direction moving forward. And it's pushing you in, the, in a positive direction that is going to be helping you to create a lot of positive alignment of energy. So this is just going to be so powerful it's as, as if this year is going to be a year where you are um, helped door your higher wisdom and listening to your wisdom that is going to be bringing you out uh, so high, so power and seeing and touching the stars. So it's, it's about reaching for the stars um, this year, Virgo. It's about really reaching for the star and taking 
everything and this is going to be giving you a new start going forward so congratulations congratulations to all you virgos is powerful um you have um a lot of major arcana three four five six major arcana that is going to be helping you virgos um, you have new start in career, change of career that is going to be coming up. You standing and speaking your truth, using your voice to help other people or writing. However, you are going to be communicating in um, your career. You're going to be ex extremely, extremely good. Um, so if something isn't working for you in your career life or a, st a study, if you want to do a study, Virgos, go and do the study in this year. Because in this year is when you're going to be um really uh this is the year that you're going to be um you know um passing this exam so if some of you virgos had some sort of an exam to do and you were um you know you were worried about this um go and do this exam in this year you will pass with flying colors and this is going to help you to change your career moving forward wow beautiful 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 um the months to look out for that is going to be the Best one for you is January. Um, uh, January and uh, June, July, November and December. January, June, July, November and December is going to be your most powerful, powerful month. Um, congratulations to you. Numbers. Number one, it's all about new start. Number one is going to be playing a significant uh, role in your life. Um, number one, as the energy of you taking your powers back and creating your new world. Okay. And there you're seeing the Omega, the source of all things, the magician, Archangel Raziel, and the, 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 the Mercury is going to be helping you. To change um, silver into metal, the alchemist, that is it. Reach for the skies, Virgo, because you're about to, to take off. Let no one hold you back. Namaste until next time.